Alrighty, hello again dudes and new dads. Welcome back to Jedi Fallen Order, part 5. So, um, where we left off, we encountered a rather difficult purge trooper, and I hope to beat him and get past him so that way we can get off this rock and get back to Bagano because... <clears throat> We picked up BD-1 Scomp Link, which allows him to slice open new doorways for us, and that is going to come in very handy for what we are about to obtain. Need to open this. Oh, well, that was helpful. And there he is. Alright, let's try to do this. Trooper wearing black and red armor. The same type from Braca. A purge trooper. Their only purpose is to hunt Jedi. Are the Inquisitors coming? It's possible, but we're far from Braca. They might think purge troopers are enough. Or they could be stalling you on purpose. Stay wary. Doesn't look like I can get over there at this point. I think I need force pull. I don't have that yet. That was more challenging than I thought it would be. Purge troopers are no joke, man. Alright, it looks like there's a meditation spot down here, thankfully. Let's get the hell off this rock. Hello. One of those big guys is over there. Personally, I don't feel like fighting them, even though I'll get XP from it. There's a force echo here, however. The villagers built this memorial to the clones and the Venator. If only they knew the truth. On, man. Come. Gee, yeah, you wonder why I don't want to fight these things. Christ! Leave me alone, leave me alone! Stop fucking hitting me! Need a stem. 
Yeah, of course, right as he... Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, oh my god. I don't want to save. I just want to get the hell out of here. I have to get up there. And I'm going to thoroughly avoid you, Big Palooka. Droid. The watch gets beat in. Jesus. Okay, I'm dangerously low on health and I... Uh, God, I need a save point. There's a secret I could have unlocked over there, and yet I don't want to now. Let's pray to God I can survive the upcoming fight that I have. Maybe I should have gone the other way. Instead of risking it. Oh shit! I th I thought that was uh. Oh crap! I can't go any further this way, so I do have to go back the other way. I think we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to get off this godforsaken rock.
Oh wait, it looks like there was a doorway up there. Whoops. Went the wrong way. I wish there was a way back up to that save point, but there's not. Ah, oh, damn it. See him? Empire isn't the only thing we have to worry about. This tunnel flooded suddenly. What could have caused such a thing? Smells like old oil. Sorry, buddy, not you. <laughs> water. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Force recovery. That seems useful. What other skills do we have over here? Max life increased, agile deflection, holding L3 while wall running and sprinting automatically deflects blaster bolts. Alright, so thank God we got there. Hello. He was killed by a cave-in. Imperial excavation is making these tunnels unstable. So it's showing a doorway right in front of me, but I can't go any further. Unless I have to go down here. Crap. I need to go this way, actually. You, you shouldn't be here. Yeah, I know I shouldn't. What are you gonna do? Shoot a rocket? Nope! Oh, come on. Right, can I take the elevator now? This will lead directly to the ship. Jesus. It's about damn time. Seer, I'm under an Imperial dig site. They got a lot further than we thought. We can't worry about that now. The Empire's identified you as the Jedi from Bracca. They're searching for the Mantis as we speak. Brock, Brock, Brock. The Mantis? Bracca sounds like a like a scat word. <laughs> like a beatboxing word. I'll be back as fast as I can. 
which ironically is not very fast at all. I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, can't wait to get the hell off this. This planet has been crazy. And from what I hear, even just the first little bit of Dathomir is even worse. Nice. <laughs> and lastly, you gotta kill the pilot that crawls out of it. Damn, that was a challenge. Whew, that was fun, though. Oh, Jesus. Hey, got some real moves on you. Just tell me that this visit wasn't big enough. I found the tomb of the Zeppo Sage. They definitely use the Force. An advanced civilization of Force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk? I, look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. Oh. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? You mean with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and went into hiding. But we didn't last long. <laughs> Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. Is it me, or they is the audio desynced with their lips? It's bugging me. And they tortured me to know about the others and how many were left but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went she escaped yeah. it was a prison riot I saw my opportunity and I took it 
they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Hmm. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Mm. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm great. Just enjoying some peace and quiet. That was really weird for a second. The audio was desyncing with their, with their lips. It says. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarred glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> so apparently on the ship here, there is a safe spot and a lightsaber workbench. Please tell me there's not a walker out there. <laughs> so for what's coming up next, I think I want to recustomize my saber. I'm going to make the blade green. Let's see the emitter. You know Cordova. That's, that looks nice. Dura steel, for sure. Green is my favorite color. All right. <sighs> Let us travel back to Bagano. And you will see why in just a few minutes. Before we go ahead to Kashyyyk. All over Bagano. Could be worth a trip back to explore. Oh, I agree fully. So this is Kashyyyk. This is Zepho, 10 out of 43 chests. We still have a lot of exploration to do. And from what I remember, once we get up here, we are actually going to be traveling Somewhere down here. You know, you never told me how you became a Jedi. I was discovered by a seeker when I was very young. They took me to the temple to train. Oh, yeah. Seekers. They're one of a kind, I'll tell you that much. You have no idea what a seeker is, do you? Not a clue. They seek things? Yes. They're Jedi sent to find and retrieve young Force sensitives. Like the ones on that holocron. I was a seeker. Oh, whoa. You know what this means. I didn't discover Cal, if that's what you're thinking. No, it means I'm a seeker, too. <laughs> I guess so. 
Yeah. Seeker Crees. Which surprisingly still sounds like an alien name. I love uh, how they... I love how they implemented one of the uh, visual effects from, I think, I think it was uh, Force Awakens, where they show them coming out of hyperspace and zoom up on the location like that. What are you wanting to scan now? So just kind of try to follow the path I'm taking on screen because there's something very important at the end of it. Thinking correctly here. And I fucked up. I'll climb up here. I'll jump down here. More or less. Did I take the right path? I guess. I don't know why, but the game seems to be bugging out a bit. Not this way. So you come up here, to where it looks like you're going off to the temple, but then more or less you actually want to... Oh, hello. Um, where am I supposed to go? I do not want to face off against you. Did <laughs> he just jump straight off? What the hell? I don't remember the video. I'm actually supposed to... Oh, I see. excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A 
Beinog, they called it. Somehow, I need to get... I actually need to go back over there. Yep, there's one straight down. Alright. Figured out where I was going, finally. Need to go all the way down here. Now that we've unlocked the force push ability, we're actually going to do this. Come back here. What do we find? BD ones and BD one skins Zagag wave. So once you make your way all the way down here, you're just going to jump right in. <laughs> These things are so cute. There's a few secrets in here. One of them being, I think, a force upgrade or a life upgrade. Force essence, there we go. He hoped someone would pick up his trail, but left BD1 to guide them. Yep. There's that. Got a scannable right there. My friend, I flew with all haste to Coruscant and presented my findings to the council. Um... Hold on a second. Oh, there it is. Alrighty, guys, you get a better get ready for something Truly, truly awesome. This help belongs to Cordova. It feels weird to say about someone I've never met, but it's kind of comforting. I agree. This place is special. I added his hilt to mine. I want to keep a piece of him with us. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Light staff, bitch! Woo! Oh, that just feels right. Uh, double-bladed lightsaber, otherwise known as a light staff. Most notably first introduced into Star Wars by none other than Darth Maul himself. The double-bladed lightsaber excels at crowd control. Use the force attack to overwhelm and clear large groups of enemies. Continue blocking after successfully deflecting a blaster bolt to reflect additional bolts back at your enemies. So if I reflect a bolt, I just keep holding it to deflect additional ones. That is great. That is just awesome.
Can I get some aid? That was close. Yep, it all looks even. That is so cool looking. Ooh, that looks even better. Ooh, that looks even better. I think this one suits it more. Let's do that one. I'm barring campaign. Okie dokie. Ooh. Ooh, this looks very old Republic-y. I like it. That one looks pretty good. They all look pretty good, but I think the Umbarn campaign emitter, I think that suits it more, especially for a green saber. I like it. I'm keeping it. Oh, yeah! I am so excited to use this baby! Now, where is the way out? And the cool thing about this is you can you can switch from regular lightsaber to double bladed just by pressing uh, left on the directional pad which I think is just the coolest damn thing so you can switch between the two if you're if you got a large group of enemies that you're going up against you can use that uh, you can use the light staff. Otherwise, you can still just uh, stay on the uh, single bladed saber. For more singular enemies, like big bosses and stuff. Alright. Um, I'm probably going to increase my max life, however. Improve dash, increase the distance that Cal can travel when using dash, strike, repulse. I can't do that one yet. Leaping slash. Cal can perform another powerful attack after an overhead slash. I like that idea. I'll, pr I'll probably get that one next. In the meantime, the next few ones I probably want to do are increasing my life of uh, mass push definitely for staggering uh, multiple enemies with force push and then I'm thinking um, definitely this leaving slash but we'll increase our max life for now definitely can help and we will head on over to Kashyyyk, maybe start a little bit of it. I still need to find more... Um, I still need to find more stim pack upgrades because... I don't know, I mean, it's like... It only seems like I can find them through exploration. And I definitely need to... Uh, Upgrade BD's stim capacity. Oh, hello. There's a bunch of holes here. Why the game seems to be bugging out a bit. I've been seeing a lot of different videos with a lot of different uh, bugs and glitches for this game, both for PS4 and for... Um, both for Xbox One and PS4. Now, there is an alternate way to obtain the double-bladed lightsaber actually earlier than what I just did on Bagano. I think... It's actually a little bit easier and less uh, less combative to uh, 
go to Zepho, complete the main objective there, unlock Force Push and BD-1 Scomp Link, then come back to Bagano and go back to the abandoned workshop to get it that way. I think it's, it's less trouble in a way, but you do have to get through more of the campaign in order to... Uh, you have to get through more of the story in order to do that. There is a shorter way. It might be a little bit more difficult because the enemies are more advanced and a little trickier to uh, to fight. If you do go to Dathomir and follow the path that's po follow as much of the path forward as you can, um, you'll come to a bit of a dead end where you have to talk to a guy in a black robe. Um, but there is an area down curve to the left. And there is a lightsaber workbench on Dathomir where you can pick that up as well. Some of the videos I saw of that, however, uh, some of them were a little bit glitched. Um, like sometimes I heard, I've been here, I've been reading posts and seeing videos where people that go to Dathomir to get the double bladed lightsaber, for some reason when they try to activate it, they can't activate it. And if they do activate it, then the cutscene is bugged and it doesn't. Uh, save or update their progress and it just doesn't give them the lightsaber for some reason so I thought it was a safer bet for me to get through Tefo and then come back to Bagano to do it this way so let us proceed alright I'm going to really quick quiet I'm going to meditate real quick and save, on the ship at least, before going to Kashyyyk. Most of these only cost one point to upgrade, but in the, some of the later abilities I'm probably going to have to save up two and three skill points. Quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, you said that. I definitely still have to kind of hone my combat skills. Because I'm still having a little bit of a hard time of it. Alright. Travel to planets. Let us go to Kashyyyk. You remember me? I came to Bagano looking for my former master, Eno Cordova. Hi to you too. You two must have spent a lot of time together alone on that planet. You must have left right after you were activated. Do you remember the last thing Cordova said to you? Good luck, Jedi. May the Force be with you. The of course. The Nothing else? Get over here, kid. We're about to land. Oh, shit! Oh, tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I've rigged the Mantis' transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah? Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No, it's right. <laughs> I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All right. Please. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, man. As soon as I saw Imperial ships, I'm like, ah, oh, my butthole's clenched. <laughs> I don't see anything. We're preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. Monkeys have been enslaved. And displaced. Yeah. I remember it well at the end of episode three. Oh, wow. Whoa! Oh! Aren't you supposed to be watching the monitors? Guerrilla fighters. Wookiees and off-worlders ambushing an Imperial convoy. Walkers approaching their position. Tarful could be with them. 
Awful could be anywhere. Like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options. And we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We used to scrap walkers on Braca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> oh yeah. He thinks we're back in a clone war. Captain, uh, get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen. <laughs> Transport. So once you get inside, be careful. I've no freeze grease to work as magic. Hey, do me a favor. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. All right, if you're jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? <laughs> Oh, jeez. This is nuts. Good thing droids are waterproof, fairly. I've been greatly looking forward to this bit of the story because I saw it. It was one of the gameplay, early gameplay videos. You ready to do this? Holy crap! Ah. Oh, I gotta swim to the front leg. Wonder how we get inside. Yeah, I'll try the leg. Oh, come on. There we go. This is gonna be fun. Woo! <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Definitely reminds me of Empire Strikes Back. Okay. Now where? Uh, over there. And over there. Oh. I don't know why, but it looks like these walkers have just been rooting in the freaking river. Almost there. Now look, he's got a seaweed beard. I'm gonna call this walker Gandalf the Green. <laughs> hey, I'm climbing in your beard hairs. Does that tickle? <laughs> Let's climb to the top. Oh shit! Well. Oh, son of a I'll be more careful. There we go. I guess you might kind of have to time your jumps. I can climb around the back. I didn't know that. Okay. But it pays to explore. Oh shit. Hold on, BD. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't scare me like that. Alright, I am on the inside. Whoa! Okay. I thought I had to attack him, but apparently he got blasted by a freaking fighter. Alright, um... On the inside, now... What do I have to do? Oh, jump up, I guess. Oh, nope, I gotta... Thought you were about to activate that freaking speeder on the inside. I'm like, are you daft? <laughs> no pulse. Your turn to report fatalities. It's the Jedi. Oh yeah! This just overwhelms the shit out of him. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Sweet, sweet victory. Oh, oh, yes. Taste it. If I could teabag you, I would. I would. I swear to God, those freaking baton troopers have been annoying the shit out of me. And now I have their ultimate Achilles heel. Oh, where was this lightsaber in the beginning? Reading a new ship on scanners. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity and in falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep us steady. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yet again, stormtrooper helmets don't count for shit. Okay. Shut that guy up. <laughs> oh, shit's about to get good. Let's do this. Now this definitely feels like Return of the Jedi. Hello. Hey, who are you? Hey. Someone who just brought an ad to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. We're advancing on an imp landing pad up ahead. With my fire support. Copy that. Let's make them even angrier. Oh, this is so cool. Oh shit! Hold on! Ow! Oh, that had to hurt. <laughs> Man, that was fucking cool. <laughs> oh, that was freaking awesome. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, you're not doing that again. <laughs> you just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Sogarero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt Imperial supply lines. Hey! So, who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? 
He's the freedom fighter, a symbol of the Wookiee resistance, striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Huh. Seer, Grease, this is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Toph? Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> Get that over corpse. The master gave it to me. <laughs> And I upgraded it. This pad supports an imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. Intel suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go. Wow. So this is definitely before the events of, uh, what is it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just short. Uh, yep, just short. Okay. Well, I'm going to save inside the ship real quick. Oh my god, what is it? Rogue One. Definitely before the events of Rogue One. It's good that the ship has a save point. It makes sense. Alrighty, I am a little bit over my time. I might have to edit some stuff down. Just to make this episode just under an hour. So, we covered quite a bit of ground. We definitely just majorly upgraded our lightsaber. Um, we are definitely going to be able to get past baton troopers with ease now. And I'm so happy about that fact. Um, it seems like a majority of some of these uh, encounters are going to be large groups of enemies. So, I'm, I'm so glad. Um... I'm so glad I picked up this double-bladed lightsaber. And to be made available very early on in the game, that was quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting... I wasn't expecting that, and it definitely seems like the fact that Cal's lightsaber um, pommel seemed to have been damaged and cut off. His lightsaber seemed to be, like, made to be upgraded into a light staff. I'm wondering, I'm, th I'm thinking that maybe he originally had a light staff, or maybe the lightsaber his master gave him was originally like that. It might have originally been a light staff. That's my working theory anyway. But uh, getting this weapon upgrade definitely reminds me of when I uh, was like highly anticipating my uh, Ultima Blade upgrade in Final Fantasy 15. I love I love weapon upgrades. I love doing stuff like that, and so I'm glad I was able to get this and show it to you guys. So, but that is all the time I have for this episode. We are now on Kashyyyk, and we have a lot of ground to cover yet again. So, thank you so much for watching. My name is I'm the Dude Five, and this is I'm the Dude Games. Please subscribe and click that bell icon for notifications, like this video as well as any others of mine that you may enjoy. Also follow me on Twitter, I'll provide a link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, as always stay classy, and I will see you all out there in a galaxy far, far away.